<laughs> okay, kid. One last time into the breach. It's been a long road. The miles are showing. On <laughs> both of us. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Happens to the very best of them. It's been a privilege working with you all this time. I mean that. And it will also be a privilege coaching you to one last victory inside the Let's give him one more show. All right, here he is making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new UFC light heavyweight champion. He is the number one ranked 205 pound contender and is finally realizing the title fight here tonight. He believes he has a lot of advantages in this fight. He believes he's the better man. Look at the confidence on his face. No UFC jitters for this man. He is out to prove tonight that this champion is a one trick pony and that he is the best light heavyweight on the planet. We'll see if he can turn those words into actions here in short order. champion, and despite being at the top of the division right now, this will be his last career UFC fight. I know some fans have said he's walking away too soon, 
He is doing so with peace of mind. Of course, all of that said, he would like nothing more than to go out on top, to retire with the belt around his waist as the UFC champion. We'll see if he can do it. of the tape for this light heavyweight championship fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 32 wins, 22 losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Donetsk, Ukraine, presenting the challenger, Nikita Alcaparnacola. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 42 wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 198 pounds. He is a reigning, defending UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Marco. Isaac for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch gloves and we are underway. Ready. So here we go with round one for this man. It has been a career defined by longevity. He has been a fan favorite, and part of that is because he's been competing in the UFC for more than a decade. Now, though, on the brink. It is time to hang up the gloves. Certainly, we're going to miss calling his fights and watching him compete. And wouldn't it be something if he could turn back? Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent very bad. His head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Big hard punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Over and over, he landed this big body kick. How about that shin? Just misses with the jab there. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that imperative. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangles. All right, closed guard now. We got him now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, man, that was slick. Oh, tag 
strikes him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, he needs to start looking the fish. and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 29 seconds of the very first round. Playing the winner by knockout. champion of the world and you want to talk about style points how about the knockout in defense of this title here tonight i don't know that i've ever seen that type of reaction out of his corner they're usually measured and tempered but they wanted this one in the worst way they got it they got the finish and the celebration is officially on congrats to the 205 pound king Reality sucks, how's that for wisdom? Right. Lick the toes back like mm, delicious. Time elf waves to me off in the distance. Hey, no guy, I'm just walking through from another timeline where monsters eat truth. Physicists say that though I get pooped, the multiverse lives, I'm supposed to just lose. Blast on a tank, I drive, it's all fuel, gotta try to stay.